Jim, at Volunteer Slam 93, there was a Coward Waves the Flag match with Tracy Smothers and Dirty White Boy Tony Anthony. Outside the ring with a white flag was Tim Horner in Tracy Smothers' corner. And it was supposed to be Ron Wright out there with uh, the Dirty White Boy, but it ended up being Don Wright. I wanted to ask you, why was Ron not there that night? Uh, did something happen? We, we were, we were kind of curious because the... It was set up on TV that Ron would be there, you know, obviously, but it ended up being Don. So I'm curious to what happened. You know there. what? Well, I am too now that you mention that because now I faintly remember that. Well, I mean, obviously, if it was Don there instead of Ron, you and and you know this. Um, you know what? It could have been something because that's when Ron was still living over in Raleigh. Oh, okay. And North Carolina. He had moved over there, and that's why he, you know, we didn't try to impinge on his, you know, patience and everything. It wasn't like he was doing this to retire. He was doing us a favor for, he would make, uh, the Knoxville or Johnson city when, when we asked him to, and he made every TV and otherwise than that, unless it was a big string of shows in the summer or whatever, Ron didn't make the other shows. Cause he, like I said, was not doing it to support himself and was doing it as a favor to us. Right. And, and, and also, cause he, he sometimes would ride over with Bob Caudill cause they were both over in North Carolina there when they go to TV. But anyway, it could have been something as simple as I remember seems like one time Ron called up and said, I'm, I'm, I'm sick. I'm deathly ill or whatever, or was the, or it could have been something with his car at the last, last minute or whatever. And Tony knew everybody's number and then Ron uh, would have given it to us anyway, but he's Don can do it. So it was Don there. It just, uh, and, and that's not a bad thing. Where else can you get the fucking noted brother of the guy that's supposed to right. be in the corner? <laughs> right. You know, everybody knew Don was too. So I, th I think it's something like that. And actually, that's the first I've thought of it in 24 years now. Five. Yeah, it was, uh, like I said, it was, really, it was really weird. And I was like, I thought just in my mind, I was like, maybe something happened to Ron that day. Maybe he got in an accident. Maybe, you know, I just started like trying to think of, because I mean, things like that happen in a wrestling business. I mean, you're traveling all those roads. It's, it's easily possible. You know, I'm sure traveling, I've never had to travel in them, the mountainous area like that. And I can oh, only God. imagine how, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, mean, it, I think it was something, I think it was something we knew about. Cause it's like it, Don wouldn't have been there. Had we, had we been sitting there waiting on Ron. So right. they, I think it's something, it's something happened where he knew he wasn't gonna leave North Carolina.